not smart at all. Um, when my little girl, when Jules was little, she used to help me too. So that is great that you're helping your mom. Yay, sign our one hour on time drawing. Okay, well, I just, and I actually have it at the top of my notes. Don't forget to turn on the recording. Forgot to turn on the recording. So we are counting down our April Queens. Very excited about this. You guys, you did the and then some, really. Our number five in our April quarter sales was Amy Paul with $753 in sales. Girl, you are doing it. Love it. Um, number four is Robin Blickman with $848. Look how close that was. $90. Our number three in sales was Christine McKnight with $900 in sales. Number two is Kathy Crawford with $13.75 in sales. And our queen of April retail sales with how much? Over $2,000 in sales is Vicki Starwalk. Woo! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's right. That's right. Thank and you. And we have heard from you a couple of times this month on how you did it. But girlfriend, we want to learn what you learned yesterday or Saturday. Because she was a star consultant, she got a special VIP invitation to a local training event where they learned all about the new foundations. Mm -hmm. Are y'all excited to hear all about the new foundations? Oh my word. <clears throat> so exciting. We are so pumped. Okay, so Vicki, oh. tell us what you learned, girlfriend. Oh, I don't think I could tell it all on uh, on this uh, Zoom. It takes okay. too much. But I was just very, very, very impressed. And I love the way it feels. Um, I'm a luminous wearer, so I had to use the mat. But I will tell you some little tricks we learned on that, too. Okay. But it makes me feel so good to be selling a makeup that's not only going to give us the look that we want, but it works with our skin care to improve our skin. Mm -hmm. It still has that same technology in it. Um, I'm excited about all the other colors because the old colors, I actually had to mix five and a seven to get the color that I needed. And now I won't have to do that. I was a little shocked that the color that I did end up using was the neutral 200. And I've always been a warm. So you really can't tell completely there. Yes, that's wonderful. I'm gonna, I want to get that. <laughs> um, I learned also about, like for right now, while we're doing the transitioning, uh, your luminous people, uh, have them, after their skin care, do a coat, light coat of CC cream for extra moisture. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I learned that if that's still not enough, because my skin is extremely dry, very dry. I go to bed, my husband's afraid I'm going to slide out. I mean, I go to bed with that much stuff, so it's very dry. But also, after you get it all on, if you still need a little bit more luminosity and to get away from the mat, you can actually take a little bit of your moisturizer that you use, whichever one you use, and just pat. Don't rub, just pat a little bit. I'm also excited about all the different coverages we can get. If you've got somebody that wants very sheer coverage, uh, we was taught to have them put it on with the blending sponge. Mm -hmm. And that way you can get a sheer coverage. If you want a medium coverage, use our regular liquid foundation brush. And then for the full coverage, which I like, is the new blending brush. And it is amazing. Uh, until I get it, I actually used that blending brush tonight with the old TimeWise Luminous and I couldn't believe how much better it looked in the coverage that I got. Because I was actually using cream powder to get that coverage. Oh, that thing is phenomenal. I, I don't know how many little hairs is in that brush. It is so thick, it looks more like a sponge, but it's not. It's actually a brush. Um, your tool to find the chart your color with. Um, I wear contacts and I was having a little bit of trouble doing that, so I was getting close with this, but then I would take and do the stripes. Um, I also learned that if you let the, let your stripe match sit for about three minutes, it's going to give a true color. If you put it on and look at it immediately, it's not necessarily right. 
I don't know. I could just go on and on and on, girl, because I love this stuff. I can't wait to get it. Um, looking down at my notes, um, something that did seem strange to me was three of us girls in the meeting and in the training, if you would look at us, one of them looked pretty fair. One of them was just medium, and I'm probably the darkest tone that was in there. We all used a neutral 200. And I'm going, this just doesn't seem right, but it looked great on all of us. Mm -hmm. It was lighter on me and darker on the other. I mean, it just worked. So I don't know. Um, I'm just anxious to get it and get out there and work with it. Yes. Okay, now I didn't, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the new lookbook. Yep, yeah, got one of those. Yep. Yeah. Now, did they talk about the foundation uh, contest, Vicki? Yes, they did. Why don't you uh, go ahead and hit on that, too? Uh, I don't actually remember all of it. Uh, I was more concerned on the product than I was on the contest. I didn't pay as much attention. But I do know everyone that we get, we try it on, we do enter them into a contest like we did the New York contest. Right. Right. I don't even remember where this one's going. Where's this one going for Joanne? I don't remember. Somewhere in California. But it's a contest, yeah. And it gives us a reason to talk to the people to get them to try the mix. Right, right. And they get spending money and all that stuff. I just, you know what, guys? Just promote it. Just promote yeah, it. Just promote and it. start putting these colors on people. Now, we'll tell you guys on section two, there's going to be a bundle yeah. of demos. And it's very yeah. well priced. So you yeah, get a bundle of the demos. Okay. It is for half price, by what I understand. Yep. So the cost of the foundation has gone up to 25, which I think is just easier mm -hmm. to remember. And, you know, I actually went to, to CVS and I was pricing like different foundations and stuff. You guys, we're mm -hmm. still undercutting CVS's mm -hmm. higher lines mm -hmm. as far as prices. Yeah. Don't be afraid at all, you know, to, to tell people that we undercut drugstore prices because our overhead is nil. Mm -hmm. We have no overhead. So, well, that's exciting. And, you know, mm -hmm. there is this true match technology. They call mm -hmm. it um, age minimize 3D complex. Mm -hmm. And it has encapsulated resveratrol, vitamin B3, and age defying peptide. There is no reason why you can't just have this in front of you mm -hmm. and just read it off mm -hmm. right there read it off and we are going to see that a lot that you're not going to be able to just look at people and go oh you're going to be this and you're going to be this is to do that strike now um in the video um louise actually just had it stay on for like 30 seconds mm -hmm. so i guess you could do the stripes just make sure you know which is which let everybody mm -hmm. do the stripes and then maybe do satin lips mm -hmm. take yeah. off the satin lips and then look at the stripes again Mm -hmm. And ask everybody's opinion because women love to give their opinion. Love it. Love it. Okay. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any questions for Vicki or myself as far as the new foundations go? No? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So I realize y'all can go on YouTube and watch this video, but um, we've got about 15 minutes and this video is not that long. I actually cut off the beginning of it but I really want you guys to watch this um, I'm so sorry to, to those of you who are watching this um, recorded or listening to it because I forgot to press recording um, until about halfway through but basically what I covered was just really please make sure you register for seminar and please make sure that you're sending people to shipe peek into pink have them answer the three questions and enter the drawing for $100 Diva shopping spree with me. Okay, so I want to take you guys to another video. And I watched this about five years ago when it was first on, but it has so much power and so much meat of instruction to it that I want to, I want to watch it as a group. And then as soon as it kind of, She's good in the end. I'll cut it off and we will have a chat. Okay, here we go. It is because of our guest unit that I am up here today. It is because of them that we are a two time million dollar unit. And it is our yes unit that birthed the cell directors that went on to make up the Sharp National Area. 
You ladies started it all, and you've done it with integrity and grace. I'm so proud to represent you. This is your moment, your victory. I love you. My goal today is that you see Kristen Sharp, not Million Dollar Sales Director Kristen Sharp or new National Sales Director Kristen Sharp. I want you to see me as Kristen Sharp, Mary Kay Beauty Consultant. There has been so many times over this past year that I've been asked questions like, Kristen, how do you do it? Where do you find the leaders? How do you train your people? And how do you balance your personal and your unit business? So I thought today I would give you my big secret. Do you want to know what it is? Are you ready? All right. My secret is that for eight years, I have always been a Mary Kay beauty consultant. This is my uniform, six days a week. No bar pins, no diamond bumblebees, just a Mary Kay beauty coat, a black skirt, and black flats. You see, this is the Kristen you would see and meet if you were out and about in Sugar Hill, Georgia, or at one of my Mary Kay skincare parties, one of my many Mary Kay skincare parties. So I stand here before you today as the proud Mary Kay beauty consultant, Kristen Sharp. The answer to every question can be found at yes, you guessed it, skincare parties. The foundation of my Mary Kay business is, and always has been, the skincare party. As kids, my brother Scott and I watched my mom build a multi-million dollar business by holding Mary Kay parties. When I became a new beauty consultant, my mom, with all of her knowledge and experience in our company, suggested that I hold a minimum of three parties a week. Parties. She didn't suggest faces, online training, interviews, or emails. She suggested parties. And after a long, hard first party, I began to think that there was a better way to grow my business. So I decided to show my mom that she was wrong and to hold three parties per week for a solid month. My intention was to prove that parties were not worth my time or the way that I was going to build my Mary Kay business. Well, I quickly found out that Kristen's way didn't work and that Mary Kay Ash and mom were right. <laughs> so that first month I booked 20 parties and I held 12. I sold over $4,000 in products and added five new team members. Through those 12 parties, I went on target for my first career car, and my team did over 10,000 in wholesale production. My first love check was $1,036. I was having a blast, though, and I was learning how key the party is to the sustainable success of our Mary Kay business. So how do you sell our product and earn the National Court of Sales rings? Parties. How do you earn a Mary Kay career card? Parties. How do you become a sales director? Parties. Where do you find women to join your team and earn those diamond bumblebees? Parties. Even as a top director, I still held three or more parties a week and have done so for the past eight years. It is all that I was taught 
and it is all that I know. When people asked me how we finish our national area, my answer, parties. Let's be clear, there is no old way or new way. There is only one way, the Mary Kay way, parties. One of my best friends, NSC Leah Carta, got the opportunity to have lunch with NSC Emeritus Ann Newberry, one of the pioneers of our company. She asked Ann this question. If Mary Kay Ash were still around today, what suggestion would she give the sales force? Ann's answer, Mary Kay would encourage consultants and directors to hold more parties. Sales directors often ask me how I train my unit and my leaders. We do have an amazing Monday Night Live weekly unit meeting and a quarterly awards recognition event. However, the most effective way for me to find and train leaders is at a party. Mary Kay Ash always said there is three ways to lead. By example, by example, and by example. She also said that you cannot lead anywhere you did not go. In our sharp area, we put into action Mary Kay Ash's advice to have team members learn while we earn. When I began my Mary Kay business, I was 25 years old and single. I supported myself with my Mary Kay business. Three or more parties a week. That was my plan, and it paid for my first home when I was 26 years old, my health insurance, my office health, my food, you name it. Parties earned our yes unit a double star achievement and seven triple star achievements. Parties have earned us the top director trips to Greece, Turkey, Hollywood, Hawaii, France, Monaco, Beijing, Shanghai, and to San Francisco and Hawaii again this year. Yes. Last year, as a $1.1 million director, I held 208 parties. This year, having our best year ever, doing 1.25 million in retail sales, offspringing seven new first-line directors, and being the number one director in the United States, I held 235 parties. I don't say that to boast or brag. I share this as proof that Mary Kay Ash's teaching of holding parties is still effective today and still working. I share this to show you that you can party your way to the top in Mary Kay. Now I know it's easy to sit in the audience and compare yourself to the woman on the stage and think, maybe they have something that you don't have but I'm here to tell you the only difference between where you are and where you want to be is more parties. This business really is that simple. When you hold parties and you recruit from parties, you create a strong selling unit. I am proud to say that in our two back-to-back million-dollar years, we have only had two women send product back to the company totaling $1,052 wholesale. You see, when you recruit from the party, you create a strong foundation of selling consultants. Our strategy to finish our sharp national area was simple. Put on the beauty coat, hold parties, and find our next sharp director. I also get asked, Kristen, where do you find such amazing women? Well, our sharp area is very specific on the qualities and the attributes we are looking for in women to join our team. Women that are self-disciplined and faith-filled. Women with leadership qualities that want to build a business. Women that love our products and are willing to learn. We find these women at parties. The key is the B. Personal recruiting puts you in control of your success, control of your pocketbook, and control of who you choose to work with. Every year I've been in Mary Kay, I've done the National Court of Sharing, and I truly believe it's what builds and maintains a top unit. 
When I started researching the careers of other national sales directors, I noticed that NSDs that consistently did the court of sharing got to the position of national in half the time. Seven of my 11 first line offspring are my personal team members. We had eight sharp directors that picked up their diamond bumblebee last night. 22 out of our 25 sharp directors are a personal recruit of another sharp director. 21 out of our 25 sharp directors were recruited from a skincare party or an event where the products were shared first, then the career opportunity. Mary Kay Ash taught that building our businesses from skincare parties would build our future. Now, not all the questions that I get asked are positive ones. Sometimes people from outside of our pink bubble look at what they, we do and they just don't get it. I remember my mom building her business. She was so disciplined and worked even when she didn't feel like it. She truly treated this like a full-time career. And even at a young age, I noticed that some of her friends thought she was crazy. They wondered when she was gonna get a real job. Well, today, I have some of those same types of people saying those same kinds of things to me. And I tell you, if I would have listened to those people questioning my purpose, my schedule, my work ethic in Mary Kay, I would not be standing here as a new national sales director. If I would have listened to those small-minded negative people, my 1099 from Mary Kay Corporate would not have said $239,000 for 2013. I stand here grateful that I chose to work from discipline, not emotion. It's true. You become like the five women you hang around the most. And it's true. Oh. Okay, that's it. Sorry. Let me get this on. Oh. Sorry. Okay, so that was it. Uh, at that point, they go to Gloria Mayfield Banks. But what'd you guys think of that? Yeah, I'm gonna unmute y'all. So if you got crazy background noise, let me know. What'd y'all think of that? How simple is that? Easy. But is it really is it really that simple? It's not always that simple. But listen to what she said. She booked 20 and held 12. So that's a little more than 50%. So she was working the numbers, okay? Book 20, L12, and that was a brand new chick. So don't get discouraged by the numbers. Don't get discouraged when you book five and only three hold, or you book 10 and four hold. The numbers are not, are, are not gonna lie. It's mathematical, not magical. So keep that in mind, that she had that discipline to stick with it, stick with it, stick with it, um, eight years from signing her agreement to being a national. Yeah, three parties a week. So three parties a week basically is about 10 faces a week. 10 faces a week is about 40 faces um, a month. And if you're doing recruiting, marketing with every one of them, and one out of four, one out of five recruits, that's five to six recruits a month. And your income from your sales. It's all about choices. It's all about choices. That's it. And you might say, well, I can't do three, but you know what, Joanna? I might be able to do one. Okay, let's do one. Let's do one party a week for the next seven weeks so we can finish up the seminar year. At least two. Vicki's like, at least two. At least two. Okay, so at least two. And you know what? Those two parties will turn into three parties and four parties and five parties. I remember when I went into my principal and told him that I was not renewing my contract. It was the last day before the new school year started that you could go in and say, I'm not renewing my contract. It was August 1st. They went back to school on Labor Day. And I remember I walked in his office and he goes, I can't believe what you're about to tell me. And I was like, how do you know what I'm about to tell you? And I was pregnant. I wasn't due until the end of September, but I actually had her September 11th. But I, I, I said, you know, I didn't even look pregnant at the time. And he's like, 
I can't believe you're going to give up a professional career in teaching to pedal cosmetics, to sell lipstick. You're not even a girly girl. And he's right. He was right. I mean, Ed Elmore was right. And you know what? I remember the day I wrote the last check to the last credit card to the last bank and I declared myself completely debt free. I remember taking my kids to Disney after going through, um, you know, a dissolution of my first marriage, taking my kids to Disney and letting them do, play, see whatever they wanted to. Just the three of us. I remember buying my daughter's first car. And I remember going to the dealership and Andy and Jules and I would go to the dealership and um, cause I, I just thought it was only right. I had her the day I finished earning my first car, right? September 11th, 1992. So I thought, well, I'm going to buy her first car. And I had my checkbook and the dealership, the people wouldn't even look at me. They'd go straight to Andy, straight to Andy, straight to Andy. And I remember when we finally picked out her car, the guy said, well, how do y'all want to finance this? And I go, I'm just going to pay for it. And he goes, well, you have to fill out the finance paperwork. And he's looking at Andy. And I go, I am paying for it. Here it is. I'm going to write you a check. You can call the bank. Check is good. And he was like, well, we still have to fill out the paperwork. And hands Andy the paperwork. And Andy handed me the paperwork. I remember when Andy and I bought our first house together. And they, the, the mortgage person said, I need you to fill this sheet out with all your credit cards, uh, car payments, uh, any kind of debt that you have. And she slides it over to me. And I take that piece of paper and I go, mm, no, I don't have any. And she goes, okay, do you have a credit card? And I go, well, yeah, I have a couple of credit cards, but they're paid off. I pay them off every month. Hmm. Do you have a car payment? That is a debt. That's how she's talking to me. Do you have a car payment? I go, no, I don't have a car payment. I earned a free car from Mary Kay. Oh, excuse me just a minute. She walks out of the room. Well, you know what she's doing. She's jumping on the computer to do what? Look at my credit. Yeah. She comes back in about five minutes later and Andy's just looking at me and he's just rolling his eyes because he knows. And she goes, you have no debt and you have excellent credit. I go, I tried to tell you that. Y'all, that's freedom. That is freedom. And how did I get that? I did not get that from teaching school. I did not get that from working a corporate job. I did not get that because my parents handed it to me. I did not get that because my husband handed it to me. I got it because I worked it. You guys can do it too. You, whatever obstacles are holding you back, Whatever you're thinking, oh, I can't, or, you know, maybe I don't want it that bad, or, oh, it's just, it's too much work or whatever. I want you to reevaluate that because this business is amazing. The friendships I've built in this business, I wouldn't trade for anything. When I have a crisis in my life, I do not call family. I call my Mary Kay sisters. When my mother passed away, it was my Mary Kay sisters that were there for me. When my mother had her stroke, and she was my full-time office assistant and everything. I remember my Mary Kay offspring directors, my Mary Kay sisters, called me every day for a year to check on me and make sure I was okay. That's the family we build. That's the family we build. But we're also tough. We're very tough with each other. You know, we don't put up with any BS. We don't put up with drama. We are big girls. We put on our big girl panties and we suck it up. Suck it up, buttercup, and we do it. So I just want to tell you guys that this is not hard. It's very simple. You just have to be willing to do the work. And I watched that speech and I'm like, I remember watching it four or five years ago when she was a new national and debuted and everything. And I'm like, I forgot how powerful that is because you, you, do things one way and you're getting the success and then you change the way you're doing things and you're like, why did I change it? You know, if you work out a certain way and you love the way your body looks and you love the way you feel, why would you change it? 
If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I want you guys to commit one, two, or three parties a week. I want you to commit to two power hours a week. Two power hours a week. If you would invest two power hours a week, this week, the next week, and the next week, you would blow June out of the water and be set for July. Let me know what you're doing in your power hours. Let me know every time you do a power hour and you get five appointments. That's your goal. A power hour should result in five appointments. Now, Kristen would say five parties, but sometimes you get someone who says, yes, I'll come over. Like I've got a mother daughter coming over tomorrow. They're going to come over and they're not going to leave until I booked a party with her friends and the daughter's friends. Sometimes you'll have to do one or two faces or three faces, but you're going to turn those into parties and you're going to show people how much more fun it is to have lots of people there. Okay. All right. Who can tell me what the challenge of the week is? Okay. Hang on. Vicki, go ahead. Two power hours. Two power hours. And what do you want your results to be after a power hour? At least five appointments least five appointments that you turn into parties and that's coming from our queen you guys she is our our queen of queen of queens <laughs> she's wearing her regal necklace her star starfish necklace starfish. Mm -hmm. and you know what you got to listen to the ones who are where you want to be and you don't have to be experienced you don't have to be in mary Kay forever you can do this with just a starter kit washcloths and cotton balls. And if you don't believe that, you should watch me do my parties because that's how I do it. I take into there, I take to my table exactly what comes in the starter kit, plus washcloths, cotton balls, and headbands. That's it. Because if you use more stuff than that, they're not gonna understand the value of the starter kit. Okay? Keep it simple, sweetie. Kiss, everybody kiss. All right, congratulations to our winners tonight. I'm so excited for Vicki. I'm so excited for Sinar. Sinar, I can't believe you. this is the first Zoom video you get on forever and you win. Girl, you are blessed. You are blessed indeed. Okay, I'm going to unmute everybody and we are all going to be Southern for a minute, even Sinar with her Brazilian accent, her Portuguese. On three, we're all going to say bye, y'all. One, two, three, bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.